Uh, in our previous section, uh, we have seen uh, the behavior of uh, spanning tree along with the uh, uh, VPC, right? So uh, the problem with the normal uh, design was that when there was uh, uh, the issue in the root bridge or when the root bridge goes down, we experience a three second of disturbance into our network. And when the uh, root bridge comes back, again, uh, we will experience the three second of disturbance. So how we can mitigate this problem is, in uh, v uh, VPC, there is a feature that we can use. The feature is VPC peer switch feature, okay? So we will discuss that. Uh, first of all, let's see what is the behavior uh, when we use the VPC uh, peer switch feature, okay? So when we are using the VPC uh, peer switch feature, then both your devices, VPC primary and secondary device, they are going to uh, use a single uh, bridge ID, uh, not bridge ID, sorry. They, they are going to uh, use a single MAC address, okay? In that case, your downstream device is not going to find out that but let's say your root bridge goes down and uh, your the secondary root bridge or your secondary device so it will become the root bridge and it is going to send then the bpdus with the same mac address right because we can in this in this scenario the main thing that uh, we need to keep in mind is that uh, we need to have the same priority on both sides because when we use the vpc peer switch feature the mac address is going to be same on both of your device by default, okay? But if you do not use the same priority, because what is the BPDU? BPDU is a combination of the uh, priority plus MAC address, right? So when we are, you are using the VPC peer switch feature, then your MAC address is by default, it is going to be taken care by the VPC, okay? That will be same on both sides. But if you uh, do not use the same uh, priority, then the bridge ID will be different and your downstream device are going to find this out. And uh, uh, once your root bridge goes down, then again, uh, there will be reconvergence. So we need to make sure that we are uh, using the same priority on both of our peer devices. For MAC address, VPC is going to take care of that. But for priority, we need to make sure that we have configured the same priority. Okay, so let's see what is the behavior of uh, BPD use in case of VPC peer switch feature, then we will go uh, for the practical. So this is the, uh, on the left hand side, we have the same topology, we have the primary switch and uh, we have the secondary switch. So in case of VPC peer switch, both the uh, devices are going to send the BPDUs. So primary switch is also going to send the BPDU to the downstream devices and the secondary device is going to, uh, is also going to send the BPDUs to the downstream devices. So in that case now, uh, if uh, let's say this uh, downstream device sends any BPDUs to secondary device, it is uh, now there is no need to send to the primary device. Okay, so uh, in a VPC peer switch feature, uh, your B BPDUs will be controlled by both your primary and secondary devices. So in a VPC peer case, uh, your downstream device is going to get the two BPDUs or you can see that uh, your downstream device is going to get the two duplicate BPDUs, right? Because uh, let's say we have configured the priority uh, 4096 here and 4096 here also. And uh, because we are running the VPC peer switch feature, then the uh, VPC is going to assign one common MAC to both of your devices. Let's say it's uh, A, the MAC address is A. So now this is the bridge ID, right? So in the BPDUs, uh, which primary or secondary device will send to the downstream device, it is going to receive the same uh, BPDU or same bridge ID, right? So now your uh, downstream device in case of peer switch are going to receive two BPDUs, but that's not a problem. And in your uh, uh, VPC peer switch feature, because uh, once let's say your uh, root bridge, this primary switch is also the root bridge, right? And uh, so let's say your uh, this is the, your root bridge also, right? So uh, both your devices are uh, sending the BPDUs to the downstream device. So let's say your root bridge goes down, right? So in that case, because your secondary device is also using the same bridge ID, now your downstream device is not going to find out that there is a change in the topology. For downstream device, let's say if it is a uh, port channel two, so 
port channel 2 is not going to go into the designated designated uh, state right so in that case uh, when there was no peer switch feature we have seen that our port went into uh, the designated port state right from the root port because our downstream device identified that there is a change in topology that is why now that port again went into the rstp states and all so uh, in in a on real devices it will uh, take around 3 seconds to reconverge for the rapid spanning tree now let's uh, see a practical of it how uh, the peer switch feature is enabled and how it uh, help us so i'm in uh, n7k2 now so n7k was our uh, primary device earlier but we have reloaded this device now this device has become the operational secondary device but but we know that the mac address of the uh, n7k2 is lower that is why because we are using the same uh, priority on both side on n7k1 and n7k2 now the, uh, as per the root bridge election the lower mac address uh, will come into picture right and n7k2 has the lower mac address that is why it is again going to become the root bridge right if i do a show spanning tree vlan 10 now you can see this is the root bridge but what we have discussed is that it doesn't matter who is the root bridge the vpc uh, primary device is going to control the uh, vpdus right i'm not talking about the vpc peer switch so i just want to show you guys that uh, let's uh, you can see that right now n7 get 2 is the root bridge but it is the secondary device even though it is the root bridge you can see here it is not going to send any BPDU on the downstream ports. If you do a show spanning tree interface, uh, port channel 2 uh, and detail, now you can see uh, sent BPDU is 0, right? Even though it is a, it is the root bridge, but it is not sending any BPDU because it is a part of VPC and in VPC only the primary device controls the BPDUs. Okay, so this also pro uh, proves our point that we discussed. Okay, now let's uh, come back to our point uh, to use the uh, peer switch feature into uh, the VPC so that we do not uh, see any disruption in our network when the root bridge goes down, correct? So, uh, there is a only one command uh, that we need to use if i do a show run vpc so i will go to the vpc domain vpc domain one and i just need to type peer switch that's it okay so we'll use the same feature on both side i will go to n7k1 i will do a vpc domain one and uh, i will do a peer switch command okay if i do a show run vpc so we have enabled the vpc uh, peer switch feature on both side show run vpc here also the peer switch feature is enabled so if i go to uh, let's say 5k1 now you can see here earlier when there was no vpc peer switch feature the uh, uh, root id or the mac address of the roots which is why the local uh, vpc local system mac right but if i do a show spanning tree vlan 10 now you can see here that the vpc uh, system mac is there right or you can see here that the root id or the root mac is changed and what is that if i go to our diagram you can see here be01 it is now you can uh, <clears throat> see what, what's happening here so the same mac address this b is 01 n7k1 and n7k2 was uh, previously using as a lacp id right and now when we enable the uh, vpc peer switch feature the same id uh, or the same mac address they are using now as a spanning tree uh, mac address right if i go to uh n 5 k one and uh, if i do a show lacp neighbor uh interface portional two now you can see here the same id n 7 k one and n 7 k two are using as a lacp id and also now 
because we have enabled the uh, VPC peer switch feature, the same ID they are using now as a, uh, a spanning tree MAC address, okay? Now, in our case, we need to make sure that on both sides we are uh, using this same priority. Otherwise, uh, VPC peer switch feature is not going to work, okay? Because in that case, your bridge ID will be different, though your MAC address will be same because it is taken care by the VPC, but uh, priority is defined by you guys, right? So on one side, uh, the priority is default, 32768. And on N7 kit 2 show spanning tree, uh, VLAN 10. Here also the priority is default. Okay. So let's say our configuration. Show run start. So because now we have uh, enabled the VPC peer switch feature. So now in that case, if our uh, root bridge goes down, then the downstream uh, switch, let's say uh, N5K1, the port channel 2 will not go into the designated state or it is not going to reconverge. Uh, the RSTP is not going to find out that there is a uh, change in the topology. So uh, let's say your spanning tree VLAN 10. So this is our root bridge, right? So N7K2 is the root bridge. So we have saved the saved the configuration. If I go to now, in that case also, what uh, you can see here, if I do a show spanning tree VLAN 10. So now, because uh, the VPC peer switch is enabled, both your devices are saying that they are the root bridge. Okay. If I go to N7K2, here also you can see that this bridge is the root, but the one difference that you can see here is that port channel one is the root port for N7K2. Why? Because if you check a show VPC role, this is the secondary device, right? So that is why you can see here that uh, <clears throat> the root port, it is showing a root port because we have already uh, discussed in our previous lectures that your peer link is not going to be blocked, right? Also, if we uh, see show spanning tree, let's try to find out this interface port channel to detail. Now let's see if the, uh, now you can see here that the uh, BPDUs are increasing, right? The sent BPDUs are increasing. La uh, now let's uh, verify the same on N7K1 also. Show spanning tree interface. Uh, port channel to detail 723 724 now we can see that both the devices are sending the bpdus and the, the same we have discussed in a uh, few minutes back right so because we have enabled the vpc peer switch feature now in that case both our devices are going to uh, process the bpdus so now in that case uh, if our uh, root bridge goes down let's say this is the root bridge and uh, Let's say if we reload this device, if I do a copy run start, let me save the configuration and I will reload this device. And then we will go to uh, N5K1 to find out if there is a change in state of the port, okay? So the configuration is saved. If I go to N7K, sorry, N5K1, so you can see here the root bridge ID or the MAC address is same BE1 and port channel 2 is in the root port as, as in it's as in a root port, right? So in our previous case, when there was no peer switch feature, so as soon as our root bridge went down, the port channel 2 uh, state was changed from root to uh, the, uh, from root to designated to port because your uh, RSTP was reconverging, okay? So now let me, reload this device if I do a reload yes now let's go back to our n5k now you can see here there will not be any change in the root state because 
it is not going to change because your MAC address, because uh, the, both the peer devices, they are using the same uh, priority, right? 32768. And now the MAC address is not also not uh, going to change. It is still the BE01. So that is why your uh, downstream devices, they are not going to find out that there is a change in the topology. Okay, so this is the uh, end. Uh, in a real network, if you're using this peer switch feature and your root page goes down, you will not notice anything. Okay, your downstream devices are not going to find out that your uh, root bridge went down or something like that. Okay, so this is the benefit of uh, peer switch. So let me quickly brief you. If you do not use uh, the peer switch feature, your uh, BPDUs uh, will be controlled by your uh, primary device only. Okay, irrespective of what is the uh, who is the who is the actual root bridge. So this was the benefit of uh, VPC peer switch. In our next section, uh, we will discuss about uh, the HSRP or BRRP into the VPC.